Hello, today I will show you a very useful API that you work with HTML, URL, something, uh, JSHIP API. I will go to the website and download the library. I just get the latest one. And then now I need to create the new project and import the library to the project. Create the new folder. Import to the project and then I will create a Java class to demo okay now come to the cookbook and go to the first one and just copy it and walk through you all of them one by one Import notes. Uh, this one, the text content, and then we use parse method to convert that text become a document so we can work with HTML um, DOM. Okay, now is I want to get get element by tag name, let's say. And then I want to get the title. Okay, now I print it. Yeah, and if you don't want to print it out, zero and text. Yeah. Okay, now we can move to the next item. Now you want to parse a document from a string. This one, same right. Okay, this we already do. Now we passing a um, body fragment. Just copy over. Now you see that uh, with the uh, HTML text, and then when you use parts body fragment, the the method will add the body part, so it can be the full body form here. I mean, like body structure of uh, an HTML. Okay. Now we want to uh, load a document from an uh, uh, a URL and then try it. This one. Okay, now we print it out. We just print the whole document and see. Now you get all the content of uh, the website. 
Yeah. Okay, now we can move to the next one. Now you also can load a document from a text file. Let's say I just paste the content here. Only work with related links, otherwise you don't need to put that on. Okay, now just try to run it. Okay, now just try to remove this one. Should be same results. Okay. Okay, about mm, this base URL, I just Mm, try to go Google and see someone have some solution for this. Okay. Say so I go here. Oh, I think someone has some solution here. Just copy and see. Try to run it. Okay, I will modify this one using the other one. I just copy this content to the text. Then I remove this one. Now I come back to our previous example. Okay. One of my experience is I normally don't really remember uh, the code. Sometimes I need to go to Google and find some solution. So we save my time. It's not embarrassing to uh, never forget the syntax or maybe some simple code. Okay, now I try to run it again. Now you can see the example there. And if I just remove this one, I can see the same thing. That's one. After I remove the base URL from the document. Okay, now just move to the next one. now okay here navigate a document okay I just copy over
content. And then I will print it out. to run it again okay I got some results here okay move to the next one to find some elements okay just I want to get this one let's say I want to print out something here okay just like kind of a uh, document DOM you can get some uh, I resolve from querying the document you want to extract some attribute text HTML element something to study more about document HTML DOM and you parser um, maybe traverse something you, you can go to um, W3 school to study more that's one of my favorite website or you want to print out the body text here all the content including link or something okay we can move to the next one url okay we can get the first a tag so just run it okay now you want to get this one related one and this one the absolute one okay I think that's all for today mm, this one the the example so nothing else okay that's all for today thanks for watching